What's up everybody, it's Connor from Convesio, and today I'm going to be walking you through our new auto scaling feature. So we've already released a video about how to enable and set up the auto scaling feature, as well as another video about how to manually scale the number of containers on your site. This video is just going to be us showing off auto scaling in the wild. I just set up a blank WordPress install and I'm going to be running a load test. We're going to be sending 6,000 users over 4 minutes and we're gonna watch as the site scales up and then scales back down. So before we get into it, let me go show off the auto scaling settings that I currently have set up. As you can see on the plan we are running here, the max is two containers and the minimum is one. And here are the parameters set up for when the site will set scale up or scale down. So from here, we're gonna go watch the containers page and watch as the metrics reflect the traffic being sent. So I'm going to go over here and start our load test. We are using loader.io for this load test. Very simple load testing tool to use. You can set up a load test in just a few minutes. So here we go. I'm going to run the test and we are going to watch as the traffic starts going to the website. So here we are. The test is started and as we can see here we're at about 22 clients per second. We're going to go over here and watch as the CPU starts to spike here. So now we're at 102% it's going to sit here for about a minute and then a second container will be created and it'll start to balance the load between those two containers. So we'll go back over to the load test and see that we are still running about 28 to 20 clients per second over here. The CPU is running about at about 100% so we should see a second container created here. So here we go as you can see here a second container is being created and we'll watch as the CPU starts to be balanced out between the two containers. We did cut ahead in that video a little bit for timing purposes just to speed up the waiting here but now the second container we were running at about 100% CPU for a minute and here's container number two. Let's go check on the load test. We're about two thirds of the way done with the load test. We're handling about 30, 38 clients per second now. And now if we come back here, you can see the CPU is being balanced out between the two containers. Now we have about 66% on container 1 and 70% usage on container 2. And those are going to bounce around and kind of balance out. You should see them both try to even out. What's happening here is the load balancer is actually distributing the traffic amongst the two containers, trying to balance that out so that it uses similar amount of resources and one does not get overpowered from the other. Now we're going to go back over here and stop the load test. So this is going to stop the traffic from coming to the site and we should see the CPU go back down and eventually we'll watch as the second container is deleted. So there we go. You see the CPU is just back down to 0%. The load test is over. No more traffic is coming to the website. Let's go ahead and wait here a minute. We'll skip ahead for waiting purposes and watch as the second container gets destroyed. And there you have it folks. We just saw as the second container was destroyed right there. Now we're back running one container at 0% CPU usage. And that is the auto scaling in action. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. If you have any more questions about how auto scaling works, how to set it up, please do not hesitate to reach out to support. You can go to convesio.com and the little support chat button in the bottom right hand of the site. If you just chat in there, somebody is usually around to take your chat, answer questions, or help with uh, any, any problems you may be having. So this is the auto scaling feature. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.